Okay, now we are going to create a material for the balloon and render it with Manta Ray. By default, Creative Max uses scanline renders, so we have to change that. Change the render to Manta Ray. Go to the rendering panel, and in a drop down, we just select the render setup. Okay, a render setup dialog box will be appear. Now scroll down. To the assign render and click on this and in a sub object selection mode just click on this choose render button and in the dialog box choose mantle ray and click ok so now we have switched from scan line to mantle ray render okay close it now and uh, open your material editor just Hit M on your keyboard to bring out the material editor. Okay, choose any empty slot in the materials editor. Now go to the standard button. Click on this standard and in the materials map browser just choose arch and design material. Just double click on give him the name. Change the name into a balloon. Hit enter. Okay, now select the whole group. Mine is selected and just click on this. Click on this assign material to the selection. Okay, now go to the templates drop down list. Click on this little arrow and scroll down to the translucent plastic film lines. Just click on that. Okay, let's set the color click on this color button and uh, in the in the red color channel just type 0 0.9 and in the blue just type 0 and in the green also type 0 and just hit ok now scroll down to the transparency and type 0 0.6 in the transparency and uh, in the glossiness also 0 0.6 leave it as it is and in the glossiness samples just type in amount of 32 and hit enter okay at that point I think we must have to take a test render so set your background color to white go to the render and choose uh, environments or you, you can do that by simple click 8 on your keyboard click on the environments and uh, in the background color choose a fully white and hit ok you cannot see any changes at that point because when we will take a render, we can see the background completely white. Now, we are going to take a fast test render. Go to the render and click on the renders. Okay, it's going to render. It will take a little bit time. And there we go. Okay, this is our fast uh, test render. Mm, it's just good. So let's uh, make some changes in it. Just close this render. It's nothing special, but stay tuned. We will make it shiny really soon. Next, we're going to create more interesting reflections. Let's create a geometry and material for window reflections. Create four for huge boxes in the top viewport. Just go to your top viewport. And uh, zoom out from the object. Now we have to create a window effect, uh, and for that we will create four huge boxes. Just click the on the box, and first time just try it roughly, and right click to come off the command. Just go to the modify panel, 
and uh, in the length just type 2700 okay in the width so just type 200 and 2800 and on the height just type uh, I think uh, 1 okay okay let's uh, zoom out a little bit more and let's uh, create some copies of these boxes just hold down your shift key and with the rotate and move uh, move and rotate tool just create a copy a clone op in the clone option just uh, with the copy checked uh, click ok ok now with the control key just select the next one and create another copy just like that okay after creating the boxes now we will combine these boxes into a group so select uh, all the boxes with the region selection go to the group and uh, click on the group so in the group drop down list or <coughs> group panel just type uh, windows or window reflection uh, window reflections and click OK. Now go to your material editor, choose an empty slot, and click on the assign material to the selection. Okay, now close the material editor and uh, click F3 on your keyboard to see the results. Okay. I think uh, we have to set the colors to completely white. So once again, go back to your material editor and uh, set the diffuse color to something like uh, pure white and click OK. So you can visualize the results in top viewport. And I think OK. And set the specular level to something like triple nine and hit enter. Now close the material editor. Now we need uh, to create a skylight. So as you can see I'm in the lights panel and you can do that by going in the create panel then choose lights and in the lights drop down this choose standard lights then choose skylight right anywhere in the screen just once and right click to close the skylights command go to the modify panel and choose the colors to completely white okay my color are set to white okay now when you work with skylight you has to do turn final gather on in 3ds Max 2010, Final Gather is on by default, but in older versions, you have to turn it on by going to Render, Setup, and then Indirect Elimination, and then in Final Gather, just to enable Final Gather. Okay, now we also need a Omni Light uh, in our scene. Just go back to the lights and choose an Omni Light. Draw it in the screen just once right click and go back to your modify panel so adjust the omni lights uh, so set uh, it, its effects uh, only the window reflection now simply just uh, click on this ex exclude button and uh, exclude or include dialog box will be appeared now here just select the include in the top of the new dialog just click on that include now from the list uh, just choose this newly created boxes group windows reflection and click on this little arrow now simply click ok the include parameter makes only light affect only the window reflections 
This way you can adjust the intensity of reflections by adjusting the multiplayer of the ambient light. Okay, now select the Windows Reflection Group and uh, just choose uh, Select and Rotate tool and uh, on the Angle Snap tool. Now rotate the Windows Reflection to 45 degrees. Okay, just to rotate them to 45. Okay, and leave it. Okay, now go to your front viewport. And uh, just to off uh, snap angle and snap tool, go to your select and move tool, and just to move this window reflection something like that. Now choose the skylight and uh, move him just above the balloon. Take the omni light and uh, move him to the upward too okay I think uh, just to let's move him to something like here just move this skylight a little bit down mm, and that's good okay now let's go to our perspective view and uh, maximize it now let's uh, take a test render. If the reflection appears in the wrong location, then uh, we can just uh, adjust uh, the windows reflect. Okay, so go to your render setup and click on the render. There we go. So that is our test render, and uh, I think this is very good. If you want, uh, you can just add just this uh, uh, window reflection area you can just move your windows reflection group uh, whatever you want and where you want to your reflection to be appear on balloons okay that was good just to close our render just to hit F8 on your keyboard to bring out the environment and effects and uh, I will suggest to just choose the background color something like completely white I'll hit ok now close the dialog box ok let's uh, open our previous render and uh, I think there is one thing that we had not just noticed click on that if you look uh, closely you might see minor aliasing problems in the edges to fix this, just increase initializing quality by increase sample values. So close this and go to the render, then render setup and in the rendering choose the render tab and uh, in the sample sampling quality choose the maximum to 1 and uh, oh sorry minimum to 1 and maximum to something like 16 okay close the render setup dialog box okay now render the image again and that's uh, it that is for a single 3d balloon and then just make some color correction in Photoshop if you like to there we go so that's our final render for one balloon so our transparent and uh, reflect uh, reflective material really shines when multiple balloons are rendered so let's try that make several copies balloons material by drag and drop just change the name and color of the new materials okay let's do that so close our render <coughs> Go to your okay, open your material editor, and uh, now we will create several copies of our, of our balloons material. So, just you can do that by drag and drop, choose your balloons material, and drag it to the 
other empty slot okay we had dragged it now go to the colors and change the color something different than previous okay I just drag another material and it will be copied change the color of this one too click on the colors and uh, go to something like uh, different okay let's drag another one and give me another color something uh, like uh, blue and hit ok let's choose another one drag and drop and change its colors to something different like previous ok choose uh, that one and hit ok I think that's uh, enough materials if you want you can do that by dragging and dropping okay close the materials dialog next uh, we will make many instance copies of the balloons okay let's create some couple of copies I'm going to pause the video at that time and uh, just come back with uh, lots of copies of the balloons okay render the final image the rendering might take some time because of the reflections low transparency and initializing I bumped up the quality setting and make a very high resolution something like 6000 and 4500 or 4500 render for a stock agency and uh, it look about a week to render it so this is our final render now do some color correction in the Photoshop and make your image pop and I hope you will like this tutorial thank you for watching